Welcome at FAU. I'm Lasvini. I'm Benjamin. And we are here to help you with your start at FAU. In this video, we want to take a look at one of the most pressing matters, your move into your German accommodation. A little side note first. In Germany, students are expected to be self-reliant and take care of their own matters. You can get all the help you need, but you have actively asked for it. You can expect that all the information you need will be available to you, but sometimes you have to find it on your own. First, we are going to take a look at the German student dormitory itself with this cross-section model. The equipment in your dormitory might differ, but usually it won't be different from what you know from dormitories all around the world. Depending on the dormitory, you will have your own kitchen and bathroom, or there will be common facilities. In accommodations on the private market, you will have to see yourself what will be available. You will be expected to keep order in your house, as hiring help in Germany is really expensive and not really common as a student. If you do not, to say, keep an orderly household, you might come into conflict with some inhabitants of the dormitory, the caretaker and the landlord. The caretaker wants you to keep everything in order, because it's simply his job to take care of the place. And the landlord, he owns this place. So he wants his dormitory, of course, stay in a condition that is as good as possible. But you can obviously find help within your dormitory not with cleaning your place or anything, but with organization and formalities. The tutor. He, she or they might be able to help you with communication as the caretaker or landlord might not speak English. About the formalities. We created a little table of elements that you need to be aware of. Let's start with the group of contents of the renting contract. So first things first, the period of notice. If you want to end your renting contract, you have to cancel it sometime in advance. So mostly this time span is about three months. If you do not keep to that, you might have to pay another month of rent. In most cases, you will have paid the security deposit as well as one or two months of rent already before you sign the renting contract but the security deposit is still a very important part of the renting contract. It is a security for the landlord, so that just in case you break anything or cause any damage, he is able to pay for that damage with your security deposit. After you've moved out and there is no damage, you will get your security deposit back. The contract also states the amount of rent and how and when you will have to pay it. It also states the duration of your tenancy and whether your contract is unlimited or if you have to extend it every semester. The last thing in this group that you need to know is that with your signature, you agree to all regulations in the contract and also the house rules. So if you break them, you will be held liable. Let's move on to the block of to-dos. We split this into two groups. The things you need to do when you move in and the things you need to do when you move out. When you arrive in Erlangen, Nuremberg, Fürth or any other surrounding town in your accommodation, you need your Wohnungsgeberbestätigung. It's a landlord's confirmation that you need for the register at the German authorities. You can ask your landlord for it. You also need to make sure that you arrive at a time where you can actually move in. Those differ much, but for dormitories it's usually between Monday and Friday. You will also probably have to meet the caretaker or landlord to receive the key, so please make sure to make an appointment with them in advance. Third important thing while moving in, make sure the condition of your accommodation is documented in a move-in protocol. The protocol should state everything of your accommodation that is not perfectly in order. When you move out, the protocol proves that it wasn't you who caused the damage. You can ask your landlord or caretaker, they will usually know what needs to be in the protocol. After you've moved in, you have about 14 days to report any further damage before it becomes your responsibility. Also ask your landlord or the caretaker whether you need to register for internet access or the energy all by yourself. Every dormitory has their own policy and you can also ask your tutor. If you're staying for more than one semester, please never forget to hand your landlord your certificate of enrollment for every semester. Because if you're not enrolled, you're not entitled to stay in the dormitory. For the move out, please make sure to have your landlord or your caretaker 
pre-check your accommodation. So if they want you to fix something, you can still do it before you move out. At your final move, please make sure that your accommodation is clean and empty. All that is to make sure that you get your full security deposit back. Because, as we've said before, the landlord is entitled to keep your security deposit to pay for any damages you might have caused or other things that need to be fixed. If there are no problems, you should get it back within six months because that is the time the landlord is allowed to keep it at the maximum. Please also make sure that you agree upon a way he can pay you back before you move out. As you can see, there's not much to remember. Just stay in contact with your landlord, caretaker and tutor. Ask them anything if you are feeling insecure. It's better to ask one more question, however stupid it might seem, than losing a lot of money in the end. And while we're on the topic of saving money, let's move on to the group of money-saving chores. All of these are to ensure that you prevent long-term damages that might cost you a lot of money in the end. So the first thing is waste separation. This is a very German thing and we make quite a fuss about it. So you have to pay a fee if you don't do it properly. You will get some information by the FAU's accommodation service or can talk to your landlord, caretaker and tutor. The second one is preventing mold. As German houses usually don't have built-in ventilation systems, you will have to ventilate yourself by opening the windows multiple times a day. That is to let out the humidity you produce by doing simple things like breathing. A thing that is really important in the region of Nuremberg is to prevent lime scale. So we have what you would call hard water. It contains a lot of lime scale. Lime scale will deposit everywhere where water is involved, like tap, shower walls, and also kettles. At first, it doesn't look nice having stains everywhere, but in the ending, it will also damage your fittings. So just clean it once a week and you should be completely fine. To ensure your pipes don't freeze and burst during the winter, you should make sure to always have a minimum temperature of 18 degrees. In general, keeping everything clean will not only make living in your accommodation nicer, but also makes your landlord, caretaker and your roommates happy. Also, try to save some resources. That's not only good for the planet, but will also save you a lot of money. Last but not least, the group of prohibitions. We'll get through them real quick. So, in most accommodations, it is not allowed to get a second pair of keys done, keeping pets, sublease your room, blocking the emergency exit, and have barbecues. For the very last point, we really recommend you to get private liability insurance. It will cover you if you cause any damage to other people or the property of others. We hope that these points will help you to have a good start in your accommodation. We wish you a great stay at FAU. Drop. <laughs>